Okay, for some reason I'm being asked the same exact question over and over again. Scene in this one. As you can see right here, as you can see right here, right here and there, the frames have been shortened, for, have actually been shortened. Shortened and will not play. And will actually go really fast when you when you're actually sliding across them. The faster the animation will be, the faster the frames will go go alongside. I've actually had one of the frames not fully animated, then actually not going as fast as the others would. Not going as fast as the others would. I just shorten the frames like very very short like very very short till they end up like this. I think you can do this in other apps like Keenmaster and stuff like in Keenmaster. But I don't recommend Keenmaster, I recommend Power Director. Cause the reason why I stopped using Keenmaster was because of the one effect that you had to keep on doing like a certain frame thing to hold to hold it still. I mean some people still edit with it and stuff. And stuff cause it's actually good for animation, but for animation and stuff because there is a way not to have to do that and it's like a way on how to do that and there's also a way and how to disable a uh, way on how to disable the thing disable the thing so I just recommend power director I just recommend power director you just have to click that you just have to tap on this go into settings and then when you see default image effect when it's on it will start to go like but since this video is already uploaded to YouTube, like next time you do some, since this video has already been uploaded to YouTube and already fully edited, this actually won't take effect. This actually will not take effect on it. This will not take full effect. This will not take full effect on anything that's already been uploaded to YouTube. To YouTube, basically, since it does not have to take full effect. So it's on now. So the next time I uh, I make a new project, that effect will be that effect will appear. And it gets annoying sometimes. So all you just gotta do is click settings, default image effect, turn it off, and turn it off. You and turn it off. I recommend keeping these two these settings at nor these settings at normal. Normal, cause you don't want that. That's what actually I did. But that's automatically on, and it's your choice to get creative with it. Get creative no matter, depending on how fast you want it to go. Now, if it's a text or something, I recommend being careful. Being really careful. Like right now, like I can shorten the frame like this. What's do is you shorten the frame. When you're shortening frame, sometimes the frame will actually be duplicated. Will actually have have a high chance of getting duplicated. Now, since that will be duplicated, that's actually that will not affect. That is not going to affect when you're when you're shortening frames. It will keep the pace normal depending which frame comes next. Depending what frame comes next afterwards, and nobody will suspect the thing. Suspect the thing. No matter how difficult, no matter how many times the frames actually become duplicated, it will not take full effect on it. And this is what takes me very long, very long for the part, the animation and getting it correct. You have to. Get, I usually try and get my animation correct. There's also a way of doing that, doing so. Like what I did when I show her Grace Yellow, then just threw her, just threw her all the way over here, somehow, <laughs> somehow, basically. Grace Yellow will be featured more in. It will be featured more in future videos, future videos including episode three for season two. Season two. If you're gonna wonder if she's gonna get arrested or not. You have to wait until the next till I upload the next episode today. I might think about 
combining episode 3 and 4 together. Like things that you might that you're going to be seeing in later episodes. And later episodes and think in the mechanics that will be talked about a lot. That's also one thing, and then again, just focus on the anime, just focus on the frame. Also, I've also got this question on how I actually did the music change. Depending on how long your music is, and depending what time you want it to end at, matching theme, it will play then. It will play all the way, all the way. Now, if you fully extend it, it will continue. Fully extend it. It will play all the way through the vid all the way through until it's done and end the video there. That's a problem what happened with me last time when I didn't figure that out. When I didn't figure that out, I've actually figured it out now since I started learning. Ever since I started first using Power Director, since I've been using Power Director for a long time now, there's many things I've actually never knew, never even noticed that I could do with it. So he, he, oh my god, no, okay, okay, I won't touch it, I won't touch it, but anyway, thank you, bye.